Hi, I'm Dr. John Duyard and welcome to LifeSpa.com and today I want to talk to you about the daylight and the nighttime hormones. In fact, these two hormones are the same and what it is just might surprise you. At night we know that the pineal gland produces melatonin and that melatonin puts you to sleep so it can then do its job which is to detox, rebuild and repair the body. It's the circulatory melatonin that connects our biological clocks with nature's circadian rhythms. It's critically important but that melatonin only, only amounts for about 10% of the melatonin in the body. And the melatonin that I want to talk to you about today is what actually is produced from the sun. Yeah, you've heard it right. The sun during the daytime produces 90% of the melatonin in the body. But this melatonin doesn't have anything to do with the circadian rhythm, scientists believe. It's completely used by the body as an antioxidant inside the cell, inside the mitochondria, which is the the energy driver, the energy production site of your cell that produces ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy we use to breathe, to sleep, to walk, to pump iron, to do everything that we do, is you, the body uses the mitochondrial energy to make that happen. Now, any manufacturing plant is gonna have a waste product, and that waste product is going to have damaging free radicals in the cells it's called is called reactive oxygen species and that reactive oxygen species is extremely damaging but to mitigate that the, the that oxidation the body produces melatonin and it produces melatonin from infrared light that we get during the daytime in fact about 70 percent of the solar electromagnetic spectrum is actually infrared we can't see it but it penetrates it penetrates several inches into our body in adults it actually reaches about 60 percent of all the cells in the body in a baby fetus it reaches hundred percent of those cells it penetrates your hat your clothes your gloves penetrates your hat and goes right through your bone into your skull and even the little crevices of your brain are all about refracting and reflecting infrared energy so inside every cell of your body there's a mitochondrial energy producing organelle and that energy energy cell that the mitochondria what it does it actually produces energy by by converting light infrared light into um, this mitochondrial energy. So what happens is the infrared light hits the mitochondria and there's an enzyme in there called cytochrome C oxidase and that actually helps the body use the oxygen to make the energy better. But then there's this massive amount of reactive oxygen species that does a lot of damage as a result of energy production. And that infrared light through the enzyme called the, the cytochrome C oxidase it converts that energy into the sun's energy into melatonin. And that melatonin, which is an extremely powerful antioxidant, is used to mitigate the energy productive stress. Now, as we age, we know that we don't produce as much energy. And the scientists are now seeing that one of the reasons for that is because, number one, we don't get enough infrared light to help make the energy. But number two, we actually can't get rid of the trash fast enough. The byproducts of energy production, the oxidation, is not being flushed out. And that only, not only makes us age, it causes accelerated degeneration, and it, helps, it, it breaks the body down and accelerates the aging process. So the melatonin, 90% of what we have in our body is produced from the infrared light penetrating your skin, activating these, this enzyme, the, the cytochrome C oxidase, to actually make melatonin to neutralize all those free radicals. This melatonin, not really involved in circadian rhythms, they think, but mostly involved in protecting the, 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 uh, the oxidation damage that comes from cellular energy and how critically important is that. So we have 90% of the melatonin in the body from the daylight that we experience and that's, um, circ that's inside the cell and then you have 10% which is called circulatory melatonin which comes from your pineal gland and that's the one we have at night. Now, why do we have these problems with aging? Some of the science is pointing to the fact that many of us are light deficient. We have light pollution during the nighttime when we turn the lights on when we really shouldn't have them. But we also have lack of light during the day. We never go outside as much as we once did. We don't have the intensity of light that we need. And we definitely are not getting 
the infrared. Most of the new windows and cars and homes block the infrared light, which is so critically important. When you actually go outside in the morning at the sunrise, because the sun is low in the sky, the UV rays, which are damaging, are blocked by the atmosphere. So in the morning, you're getting red and near infrared light unopposed, which means 100%. You can, you, can see, you can bathe in that light and get a full dose of infrared without worrying about UV radiation damage. And the one study showed that if you're standing up in the sunrise and you look at your shadow and the shadow is taller than you are, then the atmosphere is blocking the damaging UV rays. So you can get lots of infrared and red light, which is so important for the mitochondrial energy in your body, uh, both at the sunrise and the sunset. Now in the article associated with this video, I actually show a lot of uh, pictures of infrared photography of both cities and, and kind of uh, the, the forest and the trees, which are exploding with refractive, reflective infrared light. When you look at a city, there's no infrared light. So if we're living inside or in buildings, we're not really getting the infrared, which penetrates our skin, activates the mitochondria, keeps us young, healthy, and vital, right? So it's really, really important. So in the summertime, you don't want to get the UV rays. You can sit under a tree and you're getting blasted with infrared light. It'll penetrate your hat and your clothes, and it'll give you that energy you need. Bottom line is get outside. Get outside in the morning and the sunrise and the sunset where you get unopposed infrared and red light, but also in the summertime, get under a tree. And then even if you're wearing a hat and you cover from UV protection that you need, you can, you'll, that will, you'll still get the infrared light that you need. We just need to get outside. It's probably one of the reasons why the forest bathing and the, uh, the nature therapy, all the science that I've written about how great it is for us to be outside for our mood, for our health and our vitality. It's one of the reasons for that is probably the infrared light providing so many benefits for the production of energy and keeping our cells in balance and keeping the oxidation levels, the damaging disease causing oxidation down at a very, very low level. All right, so please check out this article about infrared light. At the very least, get outside, check out that sun. The sunrise is gonna, if you're there for the sunrise, you're gonna get infrared light, lots of blue light. The blue light is gonna turn off the melatonin from the nighttime and turn on cortisol for the day. It, it, it synchronizes your biological clocks with nature's circadian rhythms. And that is Nobel Prize winning science. It's so important that we get that done every morning. The same goes for sunset. And then during the day, get outside the best you can. Yes, protect from UV light, but also be with hats and clothes and things. But don't forget, the infrared light in the morning is providing you with deep penetrating protection to prepare you for the UV damage during the day. And the, and the unopposed infrared light you get in the evening at sunset is repairing the damage that you may have been exposed to during the day when the UV radiation was at its greatest. So nature had a plan to keep us healthy and to keep us protected from the sun, which was UV uh, infrared light in the morning and the afternoon and under shade trees. And that gave us the protection we needed for the ultraviolet radiation. All right, please check out this article. It's phenomenal research that uh, all about how our, 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 the most melatonin, 90% of the melatonin we produce in our body is inside of our cell. It's called subcellular melatonin and it has nothing to do with the light dark cycles. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Biard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.